Okay, so just an update on what I'm doing now. Um, I'm going to remove the speaker, the round speaker, um, from the decoder harness. <clears throat> I'm going to, uh, for starters, I'm going to um, see if there is enough space for all of the components under the tender shell. Um, I was just using it for storage. I had to clean off my workspace. So, what I'm going to do, I've got the Keep Alive, the homemade Keep Alive. I'm going to see if that'll fit in there with the decoder and its harness. I'm going to remove the round speaker, and I believe I'm going to use some of the lock sound um, baffle that came with the lock sound speaker. Of course, the speaker has been used, but there's an abundance of uh, pieces left over. I obviously had two lock sound speakers. I got rid of one package and just compiled all of these pieces in the one package. Um, this obviously came from a Digitrax uh, uh, N scale decoder. I'm not going to use that. Um, but uh, these baffles are are supposed to be for 11 millimeter by uh, 15 millimeter speaker and I don't actually have that I have a, I think it's a 9 by 16 so it's a little long and a little short on the width um, so I'll have to fill in the void uh, what I'll probably do is either just use the one uh, baffle uh, fill in the void and cap the bottom and then use these on a later project or if there is space maybe to increase the baffle uh, size uh, maybe glue these two pieces together um, put the sound decoder or the speaker sorry here fill in that gap and cap off that makes a little bit bigger baffle of course um, so yeah I'm going to try to fit uh, the small speaker with the baffle the keep alive the decoder and harness and with luck these two buck converters and uh, i've explained these to you what these do um is uh you hook you hook it to the uh positive in and negative in uh, from the function you want and then of course the leads out and right here at the tip of my finger is a little screw head that you turn that reduces the voltage to the required voltage. And this uh, this works better than um, the other types of reducers because it, uh, it doesn't generate as much heat uh, when it reduces the voltage. So it takes a bit, about the same amount of space. Um, of course, rather than service mount, these are a bit bigger circuit. So. Anyway, we're going to attempt to fit all of these components into this shell. And what I end up having to do is, of course, I'll have to remove this. I'll remove this portion of the board, uh, the bottom piece, and uh, and then this is is the female end of the plug. Uh, and as you can see here. So this will get removed. This will be what uh, this end of the decoder, the 8-pin plug, plugs into. And hopefully that will free up a little bit of real estate and volume to fit the decoder and, and whatnot in here. So when this goes on, of course, this weight uh, incorporate, in, envelops some of the volume in this shell. So uh, I may end up cutting that little protrusion off hopefully not um, and uh, incorporating some of that volume up into the coal load so uh, I try not to modify as much as possible so if uh, worst case maybe I should make a, a smaller capacitance uh, maybe reduce it by two um, capacitors and go with three I won't get a lot of uh, voltage, but it might uh, it might still help with uh, 
you know, going across dirty track and, and bad switches and stuff like that. So, uh, anyway, here's to trying. I'm going to try to make this a uh, uh, rockin' locomotive. So, uh, stay tuned. All right, so I was just messing around, employing regular masking tape, desoldered speaker, kind of did a rough fit, and I think I can get it to work. It, I have the wire sticking out so the shell doesn't close completely properly, but I think I can make this work. I ended up uh, cutting off a little piece inside. I'm assuming it's to hold, uh, I believe this would be, the coal logger uh, end so that uh, that gave room uh, if I do this quickly or slowly you can see the harness the capacitor the decoder I'm using the capacitor to insulate the decoder from the uh, metal weight and then back here I have the two buck converters and the speaker uh, on top. Now what I'll do is I'll probably mount the baffle to uh, the shell. I don't like doing it because uh, pr it promotes vibration but maybe if I use uh, uh, foam carpet tape, double-sided carpet tape, I can put the speaker there and it won't uh, vibrate so much. So I gotta also replace this incandescent bulb with an LED uh, and <clears throat> try not to impede on the light channeling up through the crystal to the rear backup light, the reverse light. So I think it's going to be tight, but uh, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give it a shot anyway. And this is the piece here, uh, right right there, that I cut back. And I could take a couple more millimeters off that if I need to, but I don't think I have to. So this uh, this is gonna hopefully work out well. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna wire up the uh, keep alive to the pins. I did some research and I believe I know what pins to uh, uh, wire it to, and uh, get the speaker baffle glued together, and uh, and then wire that into the decoder and trim the wires and. Uh, go from there. Thanks for watching.